Yeah, September and June asked, uh, do you know if you can restart a bottle condition after a few weeks if you don't have the carbonation but have the residual sugar? Cracked open a few and they were halfway done, probably too cold, 63, brought them to my closet for a solid 70 plus. Yeah, I, I, I think you're spot on. You, it, when you know you have the residual sugar, um, when you are uh, bottle conditioning a beer, and you know that that sugar is in there, and it, the the carbs just not happening. The first thing is the first thing you want to check at is is the temperature, the temperature of that of that beer. Um, and you, you did the exact right thing. Um, and depending on what style of beer, I, I would I wouldn't even have a problem store, storing them uh, warmer than the seventies. So, like uh, you know, seventies is just fine. If you have uh, potentially a Belgian strain or something like that on those, you can you can warm them up a little bit more. I wouldn't sweat it uh, September. That that's the reason I, I I had a hunch it was Belgian, so that's that, that's why I went there. I don't think so, man. You know, I, I don't think you need to be you know like like simmering them in the crock pot or anything like that. But yeah, I, I think I, you need you just need to bump up ambient on it. That that would be my guess. Uh, and if you're and if you're storing them in a case. Um, make sure that maybe some of the ones on the inside get rotated to the outside too. I don't know if that sounds crazy or not, but you know, I don't know if anyone on the, on the very inside might be insulated a little bit. Um, I, I feel like I remember somebody, somebody with a, a bottle conditioning program where they were talking about get, having to get a necessary amount of airflow through or rotation in order to make sure um, that they were getting a uniform temperature throughout their bottle conditioning racks. So just something to think about. But yeah, I, I think you're spot on. Um, and then just to take the question out a little bit more broadly, if you're having a problem getting uh, carbonation into uh, a, a, a bottle of beer, you could have seam issues, whether it's bottle or can. You could be having a seam issue. So if, if that cap that you have on there, remember only crown tops only. Occasionally you see somebody that wants to that wants to to crown cap uh, a twist off bottle, like a reused bottle that they've cleaned or whatever, that's not going to get it. But it could be that you didn't get a, a good crimp on your crown cap, and if that if that bell doesn't come down far enough, on that that'll happen. Uh, sometimes you can feel like you can spin the cap on there. Uh, you you want to get it down on there nice and tight with obviously not busting the the top off that bottle because that can happen too. That's my thought on that. You want to make sure that you have a good seal on your cap and stuff like that. But at, if if you find that that's kind of the situation and and you do have a lower level of carb and you're not talking about a competition situation like like September and June is, you know maybe you just and, and it won't come up. You, you ramp up temperature you know, everything like that, you, you maybe just need to make the decision if you, if you don't mind drinking uh, a, a lightly carbonated beer instead. But yeah, I'm not big on busting caps off and pouring more yeast in, other things like that. To me, it's like, just cut your losses, drink a non-oxidized, lower carbonated beer that may be a hair sweet, and then, and then just make, make process changes the next time. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.